Hello, my name is Paul Neufer. Today I am going to tell you about the Berlin Wall, why it was created, when it fell, and all the stuff that happened in between. So, originally the Berlin Wall was created because there were tons of people fleeing from East Berlin to West Berlin. Now, if you don't know what happened over there, you probably don't know what East and West Berlin are. After World War II, Germany was left and split in half. The east side was given to the Soviet Union, and the west side was split between the United States, France, and Britain. The capital of Germany, which is Berlin, and is also over 80 miles within the Soviet side, was also split in half, with the east given to the Soviet Union, and the west side given to the US, France, and Britain. The Soviet Union's side was communist. The living conditions weren't so good, and lots of people didn't like it there. West Berlin was capitalist, and it was very prosperous and a good place to live. So many people were emigrating from East Berlin to West Berlin. East Berlin was losing many skilled workers like doctors. East Berlin's first solution to that problem was blockading West Berlin, trying to starve them out and to get that little pesky capitalist country out of there so people would stop fleeing to it. They closed off all checkpoints to try to starve them out so they would have to leave. However, the Allies, US, France, and Britain, made a rescue plan, which they called the Berlin Airlift. It is where pilots would fly over West Berlin and drop food and fuel and supplies that they needed to survive. This went on for a long time, and eventually the Soviet Union had to admit defeat. So after that, the Soviet's uh, next solution to the problem of people fleeing to the West Berlin was the Berlin Wall. Its construction was started on August 13, 1961. During the night, they replaced the original border made of barbed wire with a brick wall covering the entire border of West Berlin and East Berlin. They even forced some people to work at gunpoint. Nobody was allowed to cross the border. Before, people were allowed to cross freely, and many people lived on one side and worked on the other. But now the border was closed. If you lived in West Berlin and your job was in East Berlin, then you just lost your job. Some family members lived in West Berlin and others in East Berlin. Now they couldn't see each other. It was pretty bad. At first, the Berlin Wall was just a makeshift wall of barbed wire, concrete, and square blocks, which was just a singular wall. In June 1962, East Berlin added a second wall across from the first, made of reinforced concrete. Now there was a strip of land in between them referred to as the Death Strip, which had hundreds of watchtowers, guard dogs, and miles of anti-vehicle trenches. The border guards also had a shoot-to-kill policy. The third wall, which was started in 1965, was made of even stronger concrete held together by steel girders. In 1975, the construction of a fourth wall made of a new type of concrete began. It also had pipes on the top, so it was nearly impossible to climb over. It did its job very well, keeping people in. It was 155 kilometers long, which was about 96 miles. Obviously, many people were trying to escape because conditions weren't very good there in East Berlin. Although the Berlin Wall had all that security, over a thousand people still escaped. There are many different ways that people escaped. The most popular one was to jump from a building near the wall and land on the other side of the wall. This obviously didn't work once they built the other walls with the death strip, but many people still jumped over the walls. Some people got across using a hot air balloon flying that just flew over the wall. Another person used a high-powered sports car with the windshield removed to just drive under some of the barbed wire in some of the weaker parts of the wall. Some other people used a truck reinforced with steel and concrete to just ram through a checkpoint in front of the guards. Some other people just tunneled under the wall. On October 4, 1961, East German Bernard Lancer jumped from the roof of a house near the wall, but landed awkwardly. Border guards gunned down Lancer and beat to death the man who, the man who was helping him. Another East German rented an American soldier's outfit and walked right through a checkpoint. Over 136 people died trying to escape the Berlin Wall. As you can see, the Berlin Wall was a terrible thing, 
It kept people there and didn't let them see their family or just go somewhere else if they wanted to. If you were in East Berlin when the wall was built, you were stuck there unless your escape plan worked. In May 1986, Hungary decided to open its border with Austria. Now anyone wanting to leave East Germany could go to the Hungarian border and travel to Austria and then just go to West Germany and automatically become citizens of the democratic nation. At midnight on October 9th, 1989, 11,000 East Germans fled to the West. At 5.40 the next day, the East Berlin Party Secretary met with the Prime Minister to discuss the upcoming press conference at 6, which was about the amount of people fleeing. The Prime Minister said to announce a new travel law. After the conference, the Party Secretary announced that East Berlin was lifting all travel restrictions. So tons and tons of people lined up on the outside of the wall while they were waiting for it to open. There were chants of, open the gates, open the gates. There were tens of thousands of people there and there was tons of cars lined up. The border guards were trying to keep them from leaving before the checkpoints officially opened, but eventually there were so many people that they just had to let them go. People started climbing the wall and chiseling it because they hated it. By November 11th, the first concrete slabs were starting to be removed by machinery. Now only 220 meters are left of the Berlin Wall, and they are part of the Berlin Wall Memorial. In summary, the people in East Berlin should have been allowed to leave. The Soviets should not have built the Berlin Wall. The Soviets forced the people of East Berlin to stay there and made it so they couldn't see their families or live where they wanted. People have the right to go or live where they want, get out of a country if they want to. But the Berlin Wall prevented them from doing that. Thank you for watching my documentary. I hope you liked it and learned something today. Once again, my name is Paul Neufer, and goodbye!